Hey there, welcome back to the Chalice Principle 2. This area that we've been in um, for the last couple episodes it's, has been absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I didn't feel like we made like the most progress like last time, so I was a bit bummed about that. But like I think the first half of it was um, kind of just, you know, experiencing that whole thing with the, <laughs> with the chair. And that friend that we made, uh, you know, we were sipping uh, mojitos on the beach. So, uh, yeah, it was a good time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of progress we can make this time around. It does look like I have done um, at least one of the triangles, six and seven. Did I try that triangle over there? Gosh, I'm struggling to remember now. Uh, we definitely have not done eight, which is, I think, down below. Um, let me go over this way and see if we have done this triangle, wherever it may be. Have I, have, I done, have I done things with you? I see that there's like a flame on top of you. Like a Prometheus flame. Right? I was wondering if I could get that. Like maybe like from jumping from up there? Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this uh this episode is already off to an interesting start. I don't I remember walking across an arm, but I just can't remember if it was this arm over here real quick and see. Slide, yeah, this, this doozy. That's, uh, this is the one that I did, uh, I think where I kind of, uh, ended last time. Cause I just like finagled with this thing for a hot minute and just could not, not figure it out for the life of me. Um, so we won't be returning to that right now. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that we <laughs> checked it out to make, to make sure. Nothing, nothing looks different there. How can I get on top of this cliff, do you think? My, this looks like too sharp to climb up. Yeah. Um, like maybe if I had taken the arm, like the other way, oh, that was a really steep drop. Um... Where, like, maybe there's, like, a, a way up on the other side? Not too sure. We'll go around. We'll see if we can find anything. Uh, let's see if we can hit that flame. Um, because, like, I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is. Like, a Prometheus flame. And that would... I think those are what enable us to, like, skip a, a puzzle if we need to. The only time I've used those was on that, like, that one, that one world where, like, gosh, I was really struggling with all the puzzles. Thankfully, with this, this world, we've already gotten, um, wow, um, all of the puzzles that we need to proceed are nice to have just in case. Um, I'm, I'm just, like, struggling to find a way up onto that cliff, so, like, I might look for that some other time. Uh, I really want to progress with, like, puzzles and stuff. Let's, um... <laughs> uh, let's try to find a way down. <laughs> so we can get to eight. How... How might one... Do that? I, did I go this way before? Maybe. I don't know. I made it up up this way some way somehow. Just not quite sure how I how I did it. I, maybe I can jump like on his head. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look, stairs. <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? My oh my. I almost feel like you could 
probably like jump in this this puzzle and like cheese it or something. It's like by being like so up high and almost like over top of it. All right, where is where is eight? Eight is in this direction, so we'll go through this beautiful water here. Looks a little radioactive, but that's beside the point. And number eight, you are here. We're here. Oh boy. All right. You are back. Oh, you're backwards. Oh, hate that already. <laughs> I'm also going to turn on my fan because it's a little warm in my office today. Okie dokies. So, um, where to begin? We have a handy dandy cube. We have a connector. Love those. I have a ladder that will enable me to get to the other side. We'll check that out in a minute. Uh, over here, I have a like a, a plot, like a pedestal, like a, a button that would power a fan. That's all interesting and, and stuff. Oh, we do also have a blue power source too. So there's that. There's that as well. All right. Well, let's go over to this side and see what's what's crack lacking over here. So on this side, we have our good old friend, the activator. I feel like I'm just not great at understanding these. Um, at the activator, it's definitely not my favorite tool that we've come across in this game. Oh, bub. Okay, uh, so if I manage to get the activator activated and like close enough to this wall, we can get another cube. That uh, would definitely be nice. Um, or maybe I don't, well, I, yeah, I do need to get it close to the wall, but also this fan to like push it through. Cause it doesn't look like I, I will be able to run through there and get it. At least I don't think. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't like connect that through that. Um, what are we going to do? Boop, 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 boop. Um... Just trying to figure out like what that's in range of, you know. I just let that chill there, and let's go back over to the other side. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, so connector, connector. I am going to. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do stuff. I'm gonna do something. Um. But I can't shoot that through the beams, right? Yeah, it like stops with the beams. So like, I guess that's what like this is for then. Is that high enough though? Will that like, oh wait, no, hang on, hold up. I got that a little bit backwards. That needs to be there. And then this needs to be on here. And then I probably need to be there, right? No, okay, no. Um, I was worried that that wouldn't be tall enough. We're, uh, we're starting with a doozy, aren't we? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. If I had the activator pushed further back, do we think it could reach that connector then? Only one way to find out. All right, so I'm gonna take you and plop you. Up somewhere. Pop you there. Climb back over. See if that's like far enough out now. Reach that one. It is awesome. Ooh, and we got the cube, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Give me that juicy, juicy cube. So now that we have the cube, we can. Uh, mm. Theoretically, we could take it through, put it under the connector, and give that a little bit more height. Uh, however, I, how do we get the cube through? <laughs> there, there is that. That that is indeed a an undrum. Well, maybe I can use the cube to raise up the the activator now. Um, maybe that's my play. 
it looks like it would connect to that wall. Like, as far out as, like, here. Maybe? Yeah? I'll, like, try to put it, like, somewhere around there. I put that there. Can you still reach? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna climb back over. We'll see what this will enable us to do. I think what I need to do is um, I need to move the cube a little bit more so that that beam from the power source is actually able to hit the connector. Me thinks. Me think so. Hopefully, it'll still be able to reach the that that connector over there. Um, so I'm gonna take you, and it looks like like here it would be able to have like visual of of the power source at least. Mm, can't tell if that's hitting the corner of the wall or not. We'll find out. It is not hitting the corner of the wall. Okay, so and step off now. That's powering that. And I should be able to go in there, grab my cube. Uh-huh. Always nervous when I like move stuff. <laughs> and put that underneath. Okay. So now I go and pick up the activator, move it closer to the other door. And I think that should be it. I, th I think. Oh, please don't screw this up. I guess I could put it like all the way up against the, the, the thing. Is that... Oh... Okay, so that, that does indeed open up that. However, as soon as I step off this, it's gonna... Maybe I don't need... You know what? I probably don't need the height of this, of the two cubes. I could probably use that to do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was thinking I needed two cubes to give it some more height. But, uh, we're Gucci. This is fine. Totally fine. Here we go. We got it. I think I was just second guessing myself. <sighs> Alrighty. I am gonna move along, I think, to the tower, which is in this direction. And then we'll see about going to a new area, I guess, after that. I wonder, I'm trying to remember. So this is W2, so W3 would be after that. Is that going to be the last area? Oh, gosh. We're just, like, seemingly getting so close to the ending in this game. <laughs> I don't know if that is, a, a you know, a, an illusion or... What can I do for you? What should I do with the data package? Don't overthink it. Just do what feels right. I overthink everything. <laughs> That's all. Okay. See so ya, yeah, Alcatraz. We got some Tetris to do, unfortunately. My worst enemy. Okay, so, um... Don't like any of these. Um... Start with you, I guess. Uh... First try? What? That never happens. Hold up. Oh, look at this, how magnificent it is. Goodness. Oh, we, we have four pieces uh, with this one again. We go two for two today? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be pushing it. That, that might be asking a lot. <laughs> um.
Oh, I'll try that. Oh, no, it looks like it goes out really far. Try this one. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be two for two. Okay, uh, let's go back. And what was the first one I tried last time? Was it this one? I think it was that one. All right, so this time I think I'm gonna try this one. Then maybe this one again? And then, there we go. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad, thankfully. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. It like continues to like blow my mind how much work the devs put into just like all of the 3D mod modeling and the environments and the, and the structures in this game. Up we go! A long time ago, the Sphinx asked you about my story. You said that hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. And you were right. Hope is not gone from the world. Some small part of it still survives. Mm -hmm. But it is not in the flame or in these towers. It lives in the hills and the forests, in the rivers and the seas. You are given a world full of hope, creature of clay. It is yours to protect. Hope is, n hope is not in nature. It is in people. I guess one could argue that like people are part of nature. <laughs> I just want to find Byron. <laughs> I'll do my best. Then remember what I've told you and do not lose hope. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, what color we got this time? Green. I do love green. Activate the tower in so, the Melvin, Anthropic Hills. What do you make of these beams? Do they seem safe to you? Nothing is really safe. You could kill yourself with a fork, and I'm sure someone has. But anything can be used safely if you choose to. I see. Oh, what is the next world gonna entail for us? Because, like, you know, it does seem like it might be, like, the last world. And, like, this one, like, looking at it, feels like a very... Um, climactic one, you know, just in its entire design and everything. So, how, like, it's like, how are they going to top this, you know? Shall see. I am not to be too speedy so I don't fall off to my death. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. So, high plain, west three, a high altitude plateau in the island's western mountain range. The surrounding region often has restricted visibility due to fog. Hmm. Okay. We're getting closer. I hope Byron is still okay. Two. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. Didn't they say it was foggy here? I don't see any fog. Holy smokes! This is like another city. Goodness! I got anything to say about this? No. Okay. Wow. Uh. <laughs> another remarkable structure. 
But what can its purpose be? Actually, I can answer this one. In the Files 1K downloaded, there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles. This is about 90% identical. Is it functional? I don't think so, not if the inside is like the other towers. S wow. Space vehicles, did you say? Imagine if it worked. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the stars, not the top of the tower. Although, that would be cool too. Wow. Oh, goodness. Nice. I was wondering, you know, what they were going to do after the last world. And gosh, this is just so spectacular too in its own way. You know, different, obviously, but still, like, full of wonder. All right, we're going to head toward number one. The um, stone structures here kind of remind me of, like, um, you know, something you'd find in, like, Scotland, like Stonehenge or, you know, that kind of deal. From within. I like the name of that. That sounds cool. Okay, uh, I have a, a blue power source. I have a blue input that is powered, uh, like it's connected to like this fan, uh, and I guess it would, would it also raise this gate? It looks like it's connected to that. In interesting. Um, okay. So like I have, I have a, I have a jammer here. Let's just start with that, I guess. Um, and I'll go and grab this connector. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. Um, okay, so... That powers fan. Okay, so I am understanding. So it powers fan, which prevents me from getting back over there and thus getting to the... <laughs> To the end point which is right there okay so the the name of this um oh hold to hold x to reset i didn't mean to press that i think i've pressed that once before i didn't even realize that was a thing um maybe from this point since i don't need um the 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 other situation the that door jammed. Oh, I was about to say we jam the fan instead. Problem is there's two fans. They knew what they were doing. Because I don't, there's, there's no like crouch in this game. Is there, there should be a crouch. I, I doubt I can do anything with just like the one fan jammed. That's a mouthful. <sighs> Come on game. What if I like just like jumped over like the other fan blowing? I don't something tells me that that would not work either. The name of this puzzle is From Within. Um Can I jam the connector? Doesn't appear so. Okay, I have I have an idea. Um, from within, it's from within this this wall. However, I think I think before I do anything there, I think I need my jammer. I need to take this with me for a moment. All right, so jam you. Connect that. We're gonna put them uh, just here. And then I stop jamming. Then we go over to this side. Jam again. There we go. The the um puzzle names are just so helpful. I feel like I probably wouldn't have 
solved half of them if it weren't for the name the sometimes. Cornelius called what they were doing the Noema Project. But in one case, Vision, they just called it the machine. <laughs> because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. Up this way. Looks like there's quite a few um, question marks and stuff around here. Maybe after we do number two, we can go for that question mark in that direction, because that kind of looks like it's off by itself anyway. Wow. This just huge. Number two. Chick chicken flight. Not chicken fight. Chicken flight. Okay, so we have a closed door here that looks like it leads to the end. Um, there's also uh, like a button over there. Now, uh, something else that I'm finding interesting about this this um, world here so far, at least with that first puzzle, and from so far what I'm seeing with this one, it doesn't look like we have any of the previous tools. This one is just kind of like, okay, like, you know, you're kind of returning to your roots. And considering this might be the last puzzle area, I, you know, I, I like that. I appreciate that. So we can go in here and there's a fan, but I'm assuming it needs to be powered by the red there, which we can, we can do if I really want to. That would, that would send something, something over here. What, is it also powering this fan or was that one already like permanently activated? It looks like that one's permanently activated. Okay. All right. And we can't like remove the fan, right? Okay. Uh, so, so, uh, what about you? Um, well, we can open up this door. Let's, um, let's do that. Starting with a couple connectors, which is interesting. Okay, so that powers that fan. Can I, can I? There is no way it's reaching all the way over there. I could totally just stick to the wall and get over there. <laughs> and you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Oh, um, yes. And so I guess when that is powered on, that door closes too. Um, bup, 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 bup. um, so like, I can't, I can't send one of these over. Oh, wait, no, I can send it over with myself. So like, that's could do that. Did you see how we could sit the connector on top of there? Did you see that? That feels like it's going to be significant later. Like to maybe do one of the, um, the star puzzles, something like that. It totally was letting me put like the connector, like on top of that wall. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I can get, I can get connectors over here. Uh, how does that, like, benefit me? <laughs> I was trying to see if, like, it, I could, like, jump up onto that platform. It doesn't seem like I can jump up on there, but it was definitely seeming like it would let me put the connector up there. I, but at the same time, I don't necessarily feel like that would be part of the puzzle to put it up there. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Oh, oh, let me try that one more time. Well, it wasn't that wall that I was trying to 
put it on top of. I was I was thinking it was I could put it up there, but I, I guess that kind of kind of works. <laughs> um. Probably needed to get that other connector out first, though, because that's like locked in there now. Huh. Um. But and yeah, like even with that power source being there, I just I still don't know how that really helps me too much. Might have to walk away from this one for now and come back to it. I hate to like walk away from like. <laughs> A number, like number two. Uh, sounds weird. Um, but because you know, if I'm already feeling stumped so early, it doesn't make me extremely hopeful for the rest of them. Like number one wasn't too bad. Yeah. Um, can, I, can I get up this way? I might have to go around the other way. I think so. Man. Ooh, interesting. Uh, hello, rock. <laughs> what you doing there? I didn't jump on it, right? Ooh, 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 I could. <laughs> I just second guessed myself and jumped off. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was that was different. Okay, uh, leaving number two for the first time, and um, we'll uh, we'll head this way now and see if we can find that question mark. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, is this is this a lab over here? Oh, I think I think it might be. Explore all of the lost labs. I was about to say this might be the final one. Indubitably, it is. Ooh. Why does it look like I'm underneath a rocket? That's a little bit concerning. <laughs> Ooh, huh? It's the mega structure. From Cornelius. Archived message from Cornelius to Athena. Athena. I don't know if you're there or why you're not answering. It's been a long time, but I think about you and Miranda every day. In fact, I've been using the museum to further my research, and I think there is hope. You know I wouldn't say this lightly. Please respond. I'll return as soon as I can. I'll, s I'll steal a VTOL if I have to. Yours, Cornelius. Aww. It says location, Ahanya one. Noema Project 13. Progress notes. Trials 40,000 through 89,000. Remaining instabilities eliminated. Trials 89,000 to 90,000. Final confirmation. Trials, trial 90,058. Version 1.0 successfully deployed. It is done. What now? What What is done? <laughs> Whatever Athena was working on, she she successfully did it, I guess. With the Noema, Noema project. Um Now where did she go after after that? Hmm. Mm. 
motherhood. Machines of Mercy from Motherhood 12 Essays by Anessa Pesho. Sometimes I imagine myself following the mat matrilineal line up against the river of time to the lives of my distant great grandmothers. I try to imagine the sheer horror of motherhood, the agony of childbirth, the risk of death with every birth, the certainty of losing some of, some of one's child or some of one's children. To us now, the loss of a child is a horror almost beyond words, a grief so deep, it seems almost insurmountable. I try to imagine what it meant to live in a world where it was a ubiquitous reality, where you could only choose to respond with either an ever-deepening pain or an inhuman numbness, and all of it tied to the foundation stone of your existence, the body. This journey to the past reminds me that my freedom as a woman is on some level technological. Without medical technologies, I am reduced to the cruel logic of nature, which cares about nothing except reproduction. Without machines, I become a machine. Only machines allow us to be more than machines ourselves. Hmm, that's an interesting take. From Sp Sp Spugna? Spugna to Athena. Dear Founder, I heard a story that you left because you had discovered a way for us to become beings of flesh. Please, Founder, if this is true, please tell me how to achieve this miracle. I hate being a creature of metal and plastic, an abomination to the earth. Every day I curse myself for being immortal, for mindlessly consuming energy, for being so unlike the graceful animals to whom the planet truly belongs. I have stripped as many parts from this vile skeleton as I can, but it is not enough. I am still a machine. For the longest time, I couldn't understand the source of my unhappiness, and I sought to blame our mayor and his associates for the decisions that made my life so miserable. But now I see that my problems aren't external at all. It's all me, and if I could change myself, if I could make myself truly human, I would be happy. Please, founder, take pity on me. Yours in faith, Spugna, number 932. Man, this uh, text here and the previous one are just in such sharp contrast to each other. Uh, you know, like the previous author made the, the bold statement that it is because of uh, technology that we are more human. Um, and without technology, we are basically a machine. But Spugna here feels that because he is a machine and because of technology, he, he is not human or she is not human. They are not human. Very interesting. Uh, and, you know, like, I, I can't help but, you know, think about some of the, the things that Spugna said, too, in, like, their first paragraph, talking about, like, oh, because I am... Um, a machine I am just mindlessly consuming energy but we as humans don't seem to have a problem with that even though we you know have fully flesh bodies <laughs> from Hypatia to Athena dear Athena I've been following the expedition to this incredible machine you've built I don't know what's going on and I wish Cornelius had told us the truth before he vanished I wish both of you had told us everything from the beginning to be honest it was unfair to just abandon us but then, I abandoned you too, didn't I? After we lost Sarabai, I couldn't see anything except the unbearable permanence of her absence. It took me centuries to start getting involved again, and I did, Athena. I came back, and so can you. Love, Hypatia. Any other palm readers in here, I wonder? This kind of reminds me of, like, um, when you go to, like, water parks and they have, like, those big, like, funnel rides. Kind of reminds me of, like, one of those. We've been over on this side. It's interesting that this side is, like, enclosed like it is. All right. Is there another exit? No, I don't think so. So yeah, I guess we'll go out um, the way we came. Now that, this one uh, here had some very um, 
interesting texts. I, I enjoyed reading those. It's a, if it, if it's sad that we've seen all of the, the labs at this point, I just want to keep discovering new things. Okay, so I tried number two. That did not go super well. So I guess we'll head in the general direction of three. There's just like so many different question marks and all of like the numbers too for the different puzzles um, seem so spread out. It just, this particular world is just so vast. We definitely won't be able to uh, fully complete this world in uh, today's session, but I'm wondering if we'll be able to in the next session. I guess it just depends on how difficult these are, right? So number three is down this way, it looks like. Number three. Precision. Oh boy. Okay, uh, so we have a fan. I have a blue power source, I have a blue input. This wall is very interesting. Well, I don't think you're you're doing what you should. <laughs> uh, there's another blue input over here. Okay, uh, and then we do have some metal bars there. Well, I I only have one connector. It looks like so. Let's uh, try to get most of this. Um, I'm gonna do the only thing that I know to do right now. Okay. All right. You know, I probably need to set up beforehand. So let me do that one more time. Wait, was that, was that it? That was like strangely easy. Like, you know, it's just one of those things like, what else would you have done there, you know? Huh. Stark contrast to the, uh, the struggle that I was having on too. Well, it looks like four is over this way and we do have several question marks over this way too. So we might kind of hit those up around the same time. Oh, I love the look of these woods here. They're beautiful. Athena, is that you? In the simulation, I found myself thinking how hard it must have been for Alexandra to die without knowing if her sacrifices were worth it. Mm. It seemed like a tragic end to an inspiring, meaningful life. But now I realize her whole life must have been a struggle. To maintain that faith in humanity when so many people around her insisted that humans are evil, worthless, when they were so lost in self-hatred that they would call their own species a virus. How did she do it? How did she maintain her faith when they were so determined to hate themselves? So determined to reject every solution, every analysis, every step towards controlling the forces that were causing their problems when they rejected even the concept of progress itself and then patted themselves on the back for it as if that was original. When I look at the archives now, all I can see is that their leaders were short-sighted idiots and their intellectuals were unimaginative cowards. All they could offer people was a downward trend. Fewer rights, fewer freedoms, fewer resources for anything that mattered. They must have hated Alexandra and everything she stood for. So how? How did she have so much faith? Hmm. Uh, we also have a, a notification here too in our social media and research apparently. Uh, maybe I'll check the research first. 
The system is full of fragments related to space. I've noticed the Noema system is full of ideas for space travel and colonization. Designs for launch pads and ships, sketches of cities, even an unfinished design for a large-scale teleportation between distant planets. Wow. An interstellar or even intergalactic civilization of the kind writers like uh, Banks imagined is entirely possible if we want it. Which leads me to another thought. These bodies we have are so carefully designed to look like our ancestors, but they don't really have to be. In his novels, Banks, his intelligent minds like ourselves controlling entire ships or drones or even stations. If Alexander Drennan was right, then it's not our shapes that make us human, and what it m means to be human can be expanded if we maintain our creativity and our curiosity. With the theory of everything, we could transform ourselves as well as the world. The only question is, can we be trusted to build a society that actually works? Just once in our long and stupidly bloody history, is something like the culture actually possible? Or is it just a daydream and we'll always end up with another dystopia? Maybe Athena finally found the answer to that question. Is there even a future? Zimia, Zimia number 994. Looks like a lot of people are getting excited about how things are going to change, but all I can see is another repetition of the same mistakes. Ecocide, hubris, self-destruction. Why would anything be different this time? All we can do is give it our best shot. We just need to get... <clears throat> Excuse me, we just need to get it right once. And the cycle will be broken. You have to hope, even if it's not rational. You're right, I'm beginning to fear we're taking the wrong path, after all. Uh, maybe we- maybe it won't be, but so what? Life goes on. <sighs> I'm not over the moon about any of these answers say that. I guess we can at least try. Iron once told me that hope is something you find once you start acting instead of only contemplating. Maybe if you just make a start, you'll feel better. Mm. Number four, duality. So here we have a connector, a blue power, and a blue power source. There's also another connector over there too. That, that would be helpful. All right, so yeah, we have you. Uh, I have red power. Um, that goes to oh oh okay okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so problem here is that I need to connect this to that. Uh, however, it's like, it's, 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 it's difficult for multiple reasons. Um, one being that like, I can't connect both of these at the same time since they're on opposite sides of the wall. And also too, this laser is blocking. Um, so the only thing that I can think of is, like, maybe going back to the whole duality thing. Maybe we need to use that connector to power, like, both of them? Like, both colors? So, like, if I locked blue power... Oh wait, no, this is not blue power. That's blue receiver. Duh. <laughs> if I block blue power... And yeah, that opens that. So how can I be on the other side of the wall? And... Change what's getting powered, you know? Um... Do 
do this again real quick. Then I'm gonna go over here and maybe this is the one that we need to get both powers from. Um, move this for a moment. So I'm gonna... Hmm. Um, I'm gonna take power from that now. Power this and that. And we put it there. Um maybe? No. I'm trying to avoid powering this one with that. So I feel like that might screw some things up. But I don't know how I could open this door otherwise. Um, maybe... Maybe I, I need to have that one on the other side not be red first. Like we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this. And that for now. And I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna take this. We're gonna power you, you, and you. And I'll place you, um, I think here should be fine. Then I'm going to take this again. And I'm going to also power that. And, and, and. Um, I guess I, I don't need to power the blue anymore, do I? So do that and then this. Would that work? That'll work. There we go. Oh, I would think I was like even like overthinking that one a little bit. <sighs> Alrighty. And um, let's head out of here. I think there were some ooh, question marks nearby. Hey, one K. Hey. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you. Oh, okay. I know we're all worried about Byron. Yeah. Especially Al. Mm. And I don't want to minimize what happened. But now that the mayor's here, I'm afraid they're going to take this and turn it into a reason to bury their head in the sand. Yes, Byron was rash. He wanted to find Athena so badly that it made him blind. But the thing is, he was right. He was completely and utterly right about what this technology could mean to us. I didn't see it at first, but now... It couldn't be more clear to me. The theory of everything is the future. And if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. I agree. Uh, you're probably right, but I have my reservations. Uh, I disagree. Uh, I'd be the neutral party right now. I get it. I do. I'm not blind to the dangers. But all we do anymore is think about the worst case scenario. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. How I'd talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future we've been offered. A future where things just keep getting slightly worse every day and we accept it because, because we're ashamed of ourselves. Not of something we've done, but just of our existence. Like we're a virus on this planet. Like our humanity is a sin. I'm so tired of it, Wong K. I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. But that's all I ever did. 
I never improved anything. I never built anything new. And when I imagine going on like this for thousands of years, that's a fate worse than death. It really is. We either live and grow and expand boldly and proudly, or we might as well switch ourselves off. Hmm. We'll find a way. We better, because I don't think I can handle the alternative. Hmm. Precious Melville. Oh, um, I was thinking that we could maybe like go around here and um, check out some of these question marks before moving on to the next puzzle, but I think we are going to have to save those for uh, next time. So yeah, we've um, we've got some puzzles to do, we've got some question marks, we've got some triangle puzzles. There are triangle puzzles in this world, right? Yeah, it must be some of the question marks, yeah. So, uh, I'm excited to experience with those uh, those with you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode. I really appreciate you. I'm sorry that it was a little bit of a delay between this one and the last one. But, as always, I've been enjoying going on this journey with you, especially since it seems like it might be coming to an end soon. Uh, so, hope to see you here next time. Take care, everybody.